So, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Horizon. So, the previous episode I enjoyed very, very, very much. We saw a bit of the uh, Synchro Machine. That was from the Blueberry Academy DLC. We saw Carmine, which is one of my favorite Pokemon characters ever. And we finally got officially um, to Kitakami. And now we're heading to meet Briar, which I'm just so excited to see all of the lore um, and everything connected to Terrapagas. I feel like it's going to be really, really cool. I want to see Kieran as well. I hope we get to see him at some point. Uh, and of course, I want to see more Car uh, Carmine. And I just want to see maybe Ogre Pond, maybe. I don't know if we're ever going to even go into that. Maybe it's just going to be a short stop here at Kitakami. And then we're going to go to Area Zero right after. Maybe we're not going to be seeing any Ogre Pond, any of the um, three mythicals. Uh, I forgot their names, but the, the uh, you know which ones I'm talking about. And yeah, I guess we'll see how it ends up going down. But I'm excited to see it because we're going to be seeing the entire lake and stuff like that right now, I'm guessing, in this episode. Which is going to be really, really fun. Um, because... I mean, it's a really, really cool area in the game. And also, we need to still see uh, Perrin and maybe the Blood Moon Ursaluna at some point. So, I'm so excited for this arc, man. This arc is definitely one that I never expected would happen. Because I never thought that they're actually going to make an arc around the DLC. But I'm so happy that they did. Um, maybe even... I, I don't know. Maybe they're going to do an arc around Blueberry Academy at some point. I don't think they will. I think that's a pipe dream. But maybe. Maybe. You never know. Uh, I want to see some of the characters there as well. Uh, either way. Let's go into... Oh, if you haven't watched this, Uncut and Unblurred, it's gonna be on my Patreon, which is down in the description. And without further ado, let's go into Pokemon Horizons, episode 70. <laughs> what a crazy episode. <laughs> ah! Oh, I want to see that area, man. That's such a pretty area. Oh! Is this the destroyed temple? No. Cultural exchange. Mm. Dude, you know, this, this is so good, probably. Yeah, the caramelization on it. Mm. But you can't avoid your uh, airplanes anymore. Murdoch, you are cute. Don't let Oreo tell you otherwise. <laughs> Who are you? Is that Jesse? It's not Jesse. Oh! Yeah, it's the nurse Joy of Kitakami. I, f I remember her. I didn't know she was this much of a Gyaru. <laughs> She's cool. Both of them are. Oh, of course. Oh, no! Five second rule. Cute. Okay, Newton. Okay, Newton. Okay. <laughs> Who? Oh. Um. Otoshidori? Bombardier. Bombardier? Bombardier? Something like that. The Titan one. One of my fav first shinies in Scarlet and Violet. You got this. Oh, poor thing. I 
think it's Bombardier. Bombardier, I think. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Rome. Okay, Rome. Rome wasn't built in a day. Is that a natural spring? A geyser? Oh, Chimeco and uh, Cleffa. The Clefairy episode is still one of my favorites from the... I think it was in the OG, right? Pokemon. <laughs> Wasn't Clefairy supposed to be like the original Ash starter? And then it was changed to Pikachu? I think so. I could be wrong though. <laughs> oh yeah, he's allergic to it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The opposite of Murdoch. Oh, leave the fence alone, Hanuchan. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Bang. Damn. I don't think we're going to be seeing Briar this episode, boys. Oh, yeah, it is getting longer. <laughs> She's locked in. <laughs> True. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Dude, this fucker... Like, I swear, this this dude is capable, or this Pokemon is capable of killing someone. Dude, Kano is so locked in, Kano-chan. Water balloons? Not even a dent. Oh, here it is. Oh. Someone's prosthetics? What? What? Whose is that? Oh, those are fake, uh, the, the teeth toy. It's not someone's actual teeth. Okay. Dude, that bird is straight up evil. I guess it is evil type. Oh, poor Kanu-chan, look at it! Poor thing. Okay, here we go! Nice! Triple jump. Are we getting an evolution here, maybe? I would be down. An evolution for Kanachan? Is that a Pineco? Or Pineco or whatever? BAM! Holy! Yo! It's actually an air raid. That's crazy. That motherfucker, man. No, Kanachan! Terapagas is such a cutie. Look at it. Anachan. Ah. Uh. 
I have a feeling Karachan might have rolled this episode. I'm down. I feel like it is about time, right? Dot is also the only one who only has one evolved Pokemon. Granted, Dot isn't as keen on battling as the other two, but still. Oh! Oh! No, you picked up the wrong thing! That's cute. That's so cute. Oh. Uh, more Peko? That reminds me of Marnie. I love Marnie. Is that a Reaper Cloth? Ah! Oh, poor Kanu-chan! Oh, it's not a Reaper Cloth. Achi! Not the fireball! Pop. Oricorio! Ghost type. Macargo. <laughs> Poor Macargo. You're gonna get him give him a heart attack. He was just chilling. Dude, this bird is like a serial killer, I swear. Brutal swing? Was that Brutal Swing? What was that? That was look like a dark type move. Or like a throw chop or something? I don't know what it gets. Knockoff? It could be knockoff actually. Knocking off the item? Oh! It could be... No, it's not Thief. You got it. Infiltrate. Oh, poor Kanu. Okay. Rock climb. Nice. Oh no. Did it hear you? No. She. Okay, it is a girl. Nice! Bro, this bird is like... It's a problem, man. Like, it's an actual danger to people. 
It's like something that you would see in Legends Arceus. It just straight up kills people for fun. <laughs> She's lo totally locked it. Ow! Look at this. If this hits Dot, she's just dead. She gets she gets a concussion. Nice, nice, nice. Propel it back. Kill him. Is it because of the um? It's because of the um pool, right? Uh, the the lake. It's because of the lake, isn't it? Oh, I guess so. It's kind of like those roaming Pokemon that we see. Well, no, it's not necessarily because of the lake. We saw a terrestrial Pokemon or Pokemon that can terrestrialize in the wild, uh, just in the base game as well, right? Just like like the uh, water type Jigglypuff that we saw and stuff like that. There's like a bug type. Um, what's his name? Uh, the poison, the normal poison type uh, Pokemon that has a bug Terra roaming around and stuff like that. We so see them in the base game. I guess it's kind of like that. Uh, interesting. I did not expect it to be a thing in the anime because it's the first one that we've seen, I believe. Interesting. Ah. Who? Bro, another one? Dude, these fuckers are actually out for blood. Terra Orb. Yo. It's getting a bigger hammer. It's actually going to evolve. Whoa! Quick attack. That did not look nice. Lock in, Kanachan. Lock in. You're almost there. No, Kanachan. Cutie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Also, from what I can remember from the lore, Kitakami is not part of Paldia, right? Uh, it's like its own thing. But the reason that people or that Pokemon can terrestrialize there is because of the lake, right? The crystal lake that has like all of those crystals in it. Maybe it's going to be explained later on uh, when we meet Briar and stuff like that. And there's like a similar thing in Blueberry Academy and stuff like that. Because I think people are only able to terrestrialize in Paldia, which actually we found out to be false in the anime. Because we saw um, Fritz terrestrialize his Charizard in Kanto, right? Uh, which, yeah, so that theory maybe doesn't hold in anime. Maybe it's not that, that consistent. Dude, this is an intense scene. So many things happening. Hanuchan's voice acting is great as well. Here it is. Bop. Oh. Close. 
Oh, poor thing, look at it. It's so adorable. Here it is, evolution. I can feel it. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Think it in. Hey, here it is. Pop, pop, pop. Gigaton hammer. I don't know if it gets it yet. Nakano chan? Player of these fuckers. Brutal swing? Okay. It was brutal swing earlier. Bop! Oh! Oh! That guy is gone. He has a concussion. Bop! Nice. Oh, play it off. Play it off. Nice. I believe that was play it off. Yo, crazy. Yep. Play it off. Oh, nice. Good. Not kind of. Oh, dot. Hell yeah. Did we see them in Paldia, though, in the anime? Maybe. Okay, maybe it's gonna be explained the uh, next episode exactly how it works here. I think it's due to the, like... But I don't, I don't fully remember it. I need to replay Kitakami. <laughs> Back at it. Are you sure about that? Good. Ah, oh, okay. No briar this episode. Hmm. Fifty nine kilos. Make memories. Make hammers. Make friends. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna take a guess. <laughs> it's make hammers. Make hammers. Bop. Is... Wait, I'm gonna talk after this. Damn! Okay, they're not dead. Okay, so is it in the... um In the game, it's only a level cap, right? Or they evolve by level? I think so. I don't think there's like a special requirement. Like um, you need to learn this move. Maybe it is like learn Gigaton Hammer. But I think it learns Gigaton Hammer after evolving into um, Tinkaton. But I could be wrong. Uh, either way, this was a nice episode. I feel like Dot, uh, Dot evolving one of her Pokemon was long overdue. Ever since, of course, Li uh, Liko has two evolved Pokemon. Uh, Roy has two. And now also Dot has two evolved ones. So that was great to see. And I'm ex I'm just excited to see uh, Briar, and I feel like this episode set up the entire thing of how are Pokemon able to terrestrialize in the wild on Kitakami. Not just in the wild, but also just in general, Pokemon shouldn't be able to terrestrialize in Kitakami, right? Because there's no terrestrial energy. Granted, I don't know why they're mentioning that if Freed was able to terrestrialize. I guess you hold some terrestrial energy in your Pokeball. Um, but yeah, still. 
Um, either way, either way, uh, it's interesting that they brought it up because next episode is going to be explained by Briar, uh, which is going to be fun to see. Uh, I really wonder which direction they go with Briar because the timeline of the anime is so different than the games that it's so weird and interesting seeing how they handle the entire like the characters that end up that are very dependent on the events happening in the game um like briar right because she's a character that changes throughout the game like carmine who changes uh, throughout the game and stuff like that i want to see how they handle it also with penny they they made penny like the post game penny right after she after the entire team starting went down uh and she changed a lot and they put her in here f uh like as a character that already works on like the uh, cyber security for pokemon league and stuff like that um which is really interesting so i wonder how briar is gonna end up being uh portrayed in the anime also one thing that uh was like a small detail but i really like is how dot you know at the beginning it took so much time um and like it was so rare to see dot's eyes like every now and again like every few episodes you would see maybe dot's eyes for like a glimpse and i remember when we first saw him and it was really or i don't know if it was the first time we saw him but like it was very rare to see them but nowadays i feel like it's more and more common which is, i think it's a really nice detail of her just uh being more confident as time goes on so that's really really cool but either way um i'm excited for this arc as always um i feel like this was a nice episode to as i said kind of um build the foundation of those ideas that i talked about terrestrializing and of course evolution so i'm excited to see it dude those bombardier were out for blood man they really were there to kill people that's crazy that's actually crazy that's actually something that you would usually only see in legends uh um Arceus that we, that we had right that was something that was a plot point where Pokemon killed people but here we haven't seen it M at least we haven't seen it much actually Pokemon being a mortal danger to um our guys but here it is here it is um so yeah either way great episode and I am excited for the next one but I'm gonna end this one here hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to like comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one peace